Namaste. It's my pleasure to speak with you today to announce that the American people through USAID are giving an additional $3 million in health funds to support the government of Nepal in strengthening health systems in the Karnali province and province 5, where many of the country's most vulnerable communities are found and which are also the destination for many Nepalis returning from their work abroad. This latest contribution brings USAID's total additional funding in support of Nepal's response to $7.3 million. What initially began as supplies of personal protective equipment in March continues to grow into even more substantive support to fight the spread of this disease. This additional support builds on the $1.8 million that we provided to support testing, contact tracing, preparation of health facilities, and community education, and $2.5 million to respond to the second order socioeconomic impacts of COVID-19. I'd like to assure you that my team is pursuing every opportunity to secure additional resources and redirect ongoing programs to support the people and the government of Nepal to keep us all safe. Today I'm joined by my friend and colleague, Adriana Hayes, the Acting Mission Director for USAID Nepal. Adriana will share with you a few details of what we plan to do with this additional $3 million to support Nepal during the COVID-19 pandemic. Well, namaste and thank you, Ambassador. It's truly my pleasure to share how we will bolster our support for the government of Nepal's response to COVID-19. This commitment to strengthening Nepal's health sector comes at a vital time as we continue to partner with the people and the government to fight the spread of COVID-19 and the other negative impacts that accompany this terrible pandemic. Our assistance in partnership with the Ministry of Health and Population will help to mitigate the further transmission of the disease while also leaving a stronger health system in place for the future health emergencies and needs. With this new $3 million, USAID will work with provincial and municipal governments in Karnali Province and Province 5 to build more resilient systems that can plan, execute, and monitor the emergency response to decrease the spread of COVID-19. We've chosen these areas as our geographic focus because the data suggests there is increased vulnerability to the disease in communities with a higher number of people who are returning from working in other countries. Our assistance will support local governments to better manage community health systems through improved planning, increased contact tracing, and training for local frontline health workers. Our goal is not only to respond to the immediate COVID-19 threat, but also to build stronger local health systems and to empower healthcare professionals to provide the best care possible long after this crisis has ended. I'm also very proud to note that these additional activities will build on USAID's existing efforts to improve health outcomes, particularly for the most marginalized and disadvantaged groups, including women and children. Thank you, Adriana. We are pleased to once again respond to the call from the government of Nepal on behalf of the Nepali people to provide additional support to limit the impact of COVID-19 through USAID's assistance. It is our distinct honor to faithfully partner with Nepal, as we have done for over 72 years, to build a more resilient, healthy, and prosperous nation during this time of crisis. Danyavad.